Okay guys, so this is the third video about apple cider vinegar. Yes, I decided to do three. One to show all the stages, the way it's, I got my conclusions, the way I figure out the best way to do it. And then uh, the second video was about the exact moment to harvest. And the third video is about uh, two mistakes I did uh, for almost doing for almost a year doing apple cider vinegar so I did two mistakes first mistake was that instead of shopping like this way I showed in the video on the stages about how to do apple cider vinegar organic apple cider vinegar instead of shopping the apples I put in this kind of blender. Yeah, it says it chops the vegetables, but it kind of blend and made something almost like a juice. It was not good. It was very difficult after to strain the apples from the liquid. It was very difficult. See, if you have the chopped apples here, and then when you get like this and you start straining, it's going to be easy for you to separate apples from the liquid. But if you have like almost a juice of apples, when you're going to try to strain, it's going to be very hard. Yes. So this is a way it, it went through, but it was not that good. Yes. Yeah, it became apple cider vinegar, but I would never do it again. Yes, it's just very hard. Yeah, that was another mistake I did. Uh, I have those glasses uh, that I bought actually to do the apple cider vinegar about a year ago and then I bought like six bottles of this because I did not find those bottles that I have here of five liters I found this ones so what have I done I just started doing this bottle and I did not take this metal part yes because it's something that normally never get rust and then I thought okay no problem this is something still and still doesn't get rust so let's do it but as the chemical process starts and continues for like two months the other bottles I had because I have five I just left one without using for the apple cider all the others, the metal part get, got very rust. And although this liquid of rust started to go outside the apple cider vinegar, just leaking outside the bottle, was pretty nasty. Once again, I did not have a problem with the vinegar that was inside. But the process of brewing, brewing or if you want to say the fermentation, uh, the gases that were going out, they started to rust this metal that was outside and it was not very good. So I'll, I'll never do again with a bottle like this. Glass, glass, something like that. Yes, don't forget, this is very important. So these were the two mistakes I did. Yes, the, I don't remember having other mistakes. Yeah, I think I heard somebody saying about metal, but I didn't think that was a, something about metal, like steel and steel, that it could be even in contact with the water that it wouldn't rust 
but it rusted because of the chemistry of the vinegar. Yes, so I thought this one would be okay. It was not. And the chopping with something like this, I would never do again to make like a puree or a juice, something close to a juice. It, it was terrible to strain the apple from the liquid. So this is it, the two major, the two mistakes I did. Yes, just hope you guys follow those two mistakes. There's not, there's no big secret about doing apple cider vinegar. Yes, yeah, so subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.